Hello. Hello. Welcome to our cinema. Hello. Hello. Would you like some tickets? Yes, please. Thank you. Two tickets. Oh, great. Oh, John going Good evening, everyone, and welcome to uh, what we hope is going to be the first of a number of community cinema nights. The idea is to have cinema actually on our own doorstep. We're not competing, thank you, we're not competing with the mainstream cinemas, we're not competing with the, the kino, we're here to create a cinema experience that people can walk to in Buckhaven, that they can have an evening in Buckhaven without having to get a taxi, without costing a huge amount, where you can have a nice evening. <coughs> we're starting with gentle Scottish comedy, um, because Scotland actually used to make some quite nice comedies, mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to go back to that. We have some domestic things I have to tell you, first and foremost. Um, if, and we're not planning this, there is a fire, oh. leave the building through the door. <laughs> I can't really, I can't really say any 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 simpler than that. Oh, I thought you were going to do your bit. <laughs> <laughs> Put on your oxygen mask before helping them. Bob, you have fire fighting, you have <laughs> Bob, you have clearly spent far too much time going on holiday. <laughs> and you believe That's that true. everyone now does this should be doing the aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> um, some of you who are there know that I've banged on about community cinema for a number of years. And I'm really pleased that Clear uh, has, uh, uh, shares the view that we should have things in our community. So I think this is another thing that's really, really good. Um, another thing on domestic, just to come back to that, if you want the toilets, you go to the back, turn to the left, and you follow it round. And where it says, gents, gents, it says ladies, ladies. 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 The sensor lighting. <laughs> the sensor lighting, so it's a very sensitive building. Okay. Um, Installed by Clear, by the way. Was it? All right. um, as you can tell, this is a group uh, introduction. We're going to have tonight a short Scottish film. Um, sadly, comedy is one of the things that everybody likes. If you go to Edinburgh Festival, 35% of the fringe is comedy, and the next one's about 12%. It shows you the huge gap. Comedy is something people enjoy. So, what we try to do is to have, yes, I'll come to mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, put your mobile phone on silent or off. <laughs> Well reminded. I should do that as well, just to be on the safe side. Um, right. Anyone else wishes to heckle? Please take a number. <laughs> yes, it's on the ticket. Where's your piano? There is a, there is also food here, which is free. It's all part of the ticket. There's popcorn, sandwiches. There's juice. Um, there are biscuits, there's tea and there's coffee and so on. What we're going to do... There's no beer, boo! No. Oh. You're <laughs> Yeah, you should have been here about half an hour before. Okay, so what we're going to have tonight, we're going to have a short Scottish comedy, which um, I was actually in, and I have to say it's something I've been... Thank you very much. Uh, it's one of the films I'm quite pleased about, because it's a nice gentle family comedy. Um, I have to say, when this was shown at the... Um, the um, Edinburgh Cinema, what's the name of it? The, film, the, the Edinburgh Film House. All of the other films, this is made by students, all the other films were dark and, and kind of really disturbing. And I have to say, I wondered whether we're going to have students are going to last the, the thing. And then this one came up, and it was one of the few comedies of the night. So I think it, it, it highlights the fact that Scottish comedy is something we used to be really good at, and it's something we want to kind of go back to. It don't have to be tartan, it doesn't have to be wrapped in Scottishness. It just needs to be a nice, good, funny film. So we're going to start with that. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I certainly enjoyed um, making it. We're going to have a short trailer for the next film, which is going to be Restless Natives. Another good Scottish comedy film. Something, something a little bit different. Um, and then we're going to have a little few minutes while we do a bit of technical switching back. Those who were here earlier, you know, we had to switch back to... Uh, to where we are, we have to switch to input, which we're really looking forward to, having done that for this one, having to change the format. And then we will have the main feature. The main feature is Bill Forsyth's first 
uh, feature length comedy called That Sinking Feeling. Uh, and for those of you around or who are aware, Bill Forsyth made a number of Scottish comedy films that started with a lot of very unknown people and built up to Gregory Stirl and Luke Keo to I think, include uh, a lot more well known people. But a lot of uh, young Scottish talent got a break, an opportunity to go into film that they probably wouldn't have had if he hadn't been around. He's an award winning Scottish film director, and so we thought it was quite appropriate to perhaps start off um, with Bill Forsyth. Now you'll notice also we have keen camera people uh, around as well. We have a filmmaking um, project that we're, we're developing as well, and it's a part of the, the team. Um, and what I would really appreciate is having seen the films tonight, having experienced the community cinema, is to tell us about it. So on your way out, if you're happy to just say you, you enjoyed it, or what could be better, or what was great, We'd really appreciate it, okay? Um, and anything you tell us will be. You're probably important to us. But we gratefully received. And also, if you've got ideas for other films as well, you'd be very, very welcome. Um, if you don't, if you're unhappy about anything being you know, put online or anything, let us know. Because what we'd like to do is, if you're happy, is put some of it together, and you could then go and tell everyone you're on YouTube. Here's a first edition of the night. Out you go. That's why troublemakers go to the front and not go. Okay. So I think, I think, and just, 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 just as an incentive to remain behind, you've noticed you've got a ticket. We'll have a, a lucky draw to. We'll, we'll distribute two of our unique and uh, limited edition Buckhaven Heritage calendars. So two lucky winners. Now, it's not a very big audience, so you've got a reasonable chance. <laughs> but it's only distributed at the end. Okay, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think, without saying anything further, I think we should go on with our, with our programme. So, if we get some light... The idea is um, January and February both aim to have something on every month. Um, and we're kind of starting off with comedy, mainly Scottish comedy initially, um, because comedy is always a good thing to, to, to kick off with. Uh, but you know, part of that is we also want to showcase short films. So if you know of anyone who's got short films, probably comedy, because comedy is one thing people don't do a lot of. Family comedy in particular, so there's a wee bit of a struggle there. I think John McPhail's about the only guy that I know who, who you know, that's his thing. Otherwise, everyone's doing horror or... I mean, I, I, I. So, our first community cinema, um, and you came along tonight. Yeah, I'm glad uh, I did. Did you enjoy the film? I enjoyed it. It was a nice, it was an amusing piece of <laughs> Scottish nostalgia. I'm glad I came along, and I just hope there's more in the future, and more people come along and see it as well. It's really worth it. Excellent. Did you think it was value for money? Of course. It certainly, certainly was. Certainly was. And it saves you, you see, a long night. You know, when they come, come to come out of the house, and long as you don't have to get buses and drive or something. Fantastic, thank you very much for your call. Thank you. So Derek, you've come along um, to our first community cinema, what do you think? I thought it was very good. I've never seen that film before, but it was pretty good actually. Uh, it was quite amateurish the first time, but I thought it was a damn, damn film. Damn fine effort by myself. It's the first night, isn't it? It was indeed his first feature. Yep. I've seen Local Hero and I've seen Gregory's Girl, but I haven't seen any other movies apart from that one. And that was good. very good. I think it was great the way they captured the, you know, the poor sort of. Uh, a suburban, no suburban, urban mm. landscape of Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. it was quite awful actually, but it was, uh, it was good, it was funny. It was, uh, damn fine effort. Lots of nice wee comic touches in there. Oh, it was yeah. funny in parts. Yeah. It wasn't hilarious all the way through, no, no. Yeah. but it was funny. Uh, the funniest bit in the entire film is near the end, the boy is selling the sinks and the guy thinks it's a work of art. That just encapsulates modern art perfectly. And that was in fact Richard DeMarco who was an art collector. Oh, 
recognise him. It was, it was actually Richard de Marco. Um, yes. Who at the time was a major art, a major player in the arts world in Scotland. Uh, so to get that him was the involved, joke. Absolutely, that was part of the joke. He was a real, right. real, absolutely top guy in Scotland, perhaps at the time. <laughs> so what about the idea of community cinema and, and what we're trying to do tonight? We had a few technical issues, but it's I community think, cinema. I think it's a great idea to have a local cinema that is small that you can watch old films, classic films, that people can come locally to see for £3, as much to ask. Fantastic. Thank you for your comments. Not at all, thank you. So, you've come along to the first community cinema. Indeed. Um, how did you feel about it? It went very well after a few little hiccups at the beginning, but once the film started, excellent. I wasn't sure what the film would be like, you know, whether it was going to be A1 or, or what, but I've got to say I laughed, yes. aloud, several times. You weren't the only one, there were, there were lots of bits where people were, were, were clearly enjoying the, the I mean, humor. There's, 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 I like a good laugh, and I'm fed up with films that are making me laugh. Yeah. So, keep up the good work, and I'm all in favor. It's a great idea. Cinema on your doorstep. Two minutes walk up the road. Lovely. Good company. Refreshments. Excellent. I thought I'd seen the picture before. I sat watching it thinking, no, I've seen excerpts of it before, so it was lovely to see the whole of it. Do you come along to our first cinema night? Yes, um, how, how do you feel? It went. Oh, it was great, a really nice intimate space. Yeah, I met some really friendly people, nice food, and a film which I must have seen about 30 years ago, and really came to life. Saw so Glasgow, which I have big memories of. What a funny film. I actually forgot you just how funny that same feeling it actually was. And it shows that it's got, you know, it's got to be convenient. <laughs> good films and good comedy films that are fresh and original. Yes, absolutely. And uh, we don't really see Scotland that uh, much. It's good to see, oh, it's an old film, but it's good to see that kind of side of, kind of Scottish life and Scottish humour. Yeah. So the idea of community cinema, do you think that, that works reasonably well? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, people like the experience of meeting other people and sharing and having a drink. Um, if you get people to come along to that, fantastic. And I believe here you've got a community that's probably not had a cinema since what, the 1960s. So again, it's quite nice that they can have that experience. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Okay.